There's something about art where people think that you love painting, you love drawing, so you should just give them your work or give it at a discount. And I don't know what specifically it is about painting and drawing that makes people think you should just do it for the love of doing it. I mean, that doesn't pay my bills. And it's going to happen. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it will. And it's always the most awkward thing when someone, it's usually someone you know or word of mouth or whatever. And I actually had one woman contact me once. She seemed to think she was like just doing me this great honor by her wanting my work on the wall. She expected to pay poster prices for a 36 by 24 inch, super detailed, would have taken me like a month to do. She thought, oh yeah, like 50 bucks. It happens. And one, don't take, don't be insulted by it. Like as much as possible, try not to be insulted by somebody doing that. It's really, really common with art. And you have a good amount of people who genuinely believe if you love it, you'll do it and give it away. And I don't know why. I mean, should doctors work for free too if they love healing people and then everything should be for free? You don't need to pay your bills. Who cares if you have running water today? You know, like it's just kind of a weird thing. So don't take it personal. It, it happens to us all. It's not an indication that your work isn't good or anything like that. It happens to everybody. So what do you do when somebody asks for something for free? With the free one, I have a absolutely no free work that's requested. That's not to say I don't do free work for people or give somebody something, but it's because I chose to, not because they asked. The second they ask, out the window, not happening. And I think we all have a moment in that, like a story time of what happened that got you to that point. For me, I was working at an animal hospital while work building up my business, and there was a girl who worked there who was looking at one of my paintings of a manatee, and or I think it was, she was looking at the one with the humpback whale, and it was swimming away, and she really liked it, and she really wanted to get one, wanted to know how much I would charge her. And I was a newer artist and it's always weird coming up with the, the cost of paintings for somebody when you're new. But she wanted to know how much I would charge her. And I was like, no, I'm not going to charge you. I'll do one for you for free. That's fine. Then she's like, oh, okay. And she starts talking about the manatee she wants in it. So I'm thinking it's all the same painting. No, it was the humpback whale. Now she wants one that has a manatee in it. And I didn't realize what she had done until she also informed me, well, I can't get a separate one, the manatee, for my mom without getting a separate one for my dad. So she suckered me into painting a bald eagle for him too. And I felt so awkward. I was new and I just felt awkward saying, what? No. She bought me a single tube of Liquitex basic paint to cover the cost. Not kidding you. So that was my moment. And she's not a bad person. This is a very common thing to have happen. And people will definitely take advantage. She thinks she's doing me a great favor because she's buying me a tube of paint. Yeah, $5, super helpful. Thanks. This is normal. Don't let it discourage you. Don't let it make you feel like yours isn't good enough. It is it, it just happens. So you want to put that line in the sand early on. What do I do instead? I don't want to make the person feel awkward if I don't have to. I don't want to feel awkward for being like, no, I can't give you that for free. And sometimes people will try to guilt you into it. Well, I can't afford it. And I really want a painting over my couch. Okay. It's a luxury item. I'm not withholding food or medicine or anything from you. This is not so, like, I have to pay bills too. I have my own expenses. So what I do instead of just giving in or being nasty about it is just make it like you're in on the joke with them. When they ask, oh yeah, I want such and such over my couch. Oh my gosh, yeah, ha ha. You know, turn it, somehow turn that into almost a joke that you're both in on. They're not gonna feel as awkward. I mean, they'll kind of be like, oh, I was serious but I'm going to play it off too because now I feel awkward, which they should. They're the ones, if anyone needs to be feeling awkward in this situation, it's them. But if you kind of turn it into a joke, like, oh, them asking, that was funny. That's really, that's a good one. Um, you know, you can do it and be polite and not make things super, because in it, it's, it's usually your friends or acquaintances. It's not a stranger off the street that's going to do it to you. It's someone that you kind of want to keep in contact with. So we don't want to make them feel bad. That is what I do in the case of somebody asking for free work. Now, the other thing you're going to have are the people who are like, well, how much is that? Oh my God, that's too expensive. Most artists don't charge near enough from their, for their work. Now, okay, to be fair, you do occasionally get the artist who's a bit delusional and wants $10,000 for a drawing they did of their own dog. No one wants your dog on their wall. Like that's not practical. So you have a few, you have a handful of artists that do that, but the vast majority of artists do not charge enough. Think about this. Let's say you're trying to make a living off your art. Heck, even just buying the materials. This economy, not fun to buy material, not fun to buy anything on. Hi, eggs. How much do you need to make per month to pay your bills, to pay the electric, to pay everything? How much do you need to make a month? How many paintings at whatever given price you're charging would you need to make? You're not going to be able to pay your bills selling paintings for 50 bucks each. 
You just can't. I mean, unless you're spending 10 minutes on each painting and you're just pumping on that, people are paying for them like they're eggs. That's not practical. It is just not practical for you to be selling at such a low amount. And you're always gonna have people wanting that discount. You're always gonna want have people wanting to pay less. Do not feel guilty. And I don't know why we all do. I do too. We always feel guilty when somebody's like, well, how much do you charge for this? And I'm like, yeah, that's $1,200 or that's five. That's a big, that's like a one month long project, six weeks long. I'm not selling that for $200. Can you imagine working for six weeks and making $200? No, people still kind of expect that. They, those people can buy prints. If that's their budget, they can buy a nice print. I can make a giclee, they can get that for $200, nice size, that's not a problem. But for, the, for an original piece, don't let people make you feel bad about your price, about what you charge, about what you need to make to survive, what you need to make to live. It's just not realistic. I've actually had people too say, well, you should work another job, like work at an animal hospital or McDonald's or wherever, and then you can give your work away. Why? Why, why? Like, it's weird how greedy people are wanting our stuff but not wanting to pay for it. It will happen sooner or later. You're going to experience this. So what do you do in those cases? Have a website with all your prices. So let's say you take commission. Somebody's like, well, how much would you charge to paint my dog? Oh, here's the, here's the link. And you have it broken up. This is how much it would cost for this size in charcoal. This is how much it would cost for that size in oil paint. You know, you have everything broken down. It makes it very easy for them to go, look, I never verbally tell someone the price ever. I always send them to the link. That way they can look at it. If it's out of their budget, there's no awkwardness between the two. They don't have to feel bad going, I don't want to tell her I'm broke. That feels bad on them. You know, make it, just take all the awkwardness out as much as possible. And having a website with set prices really helps. And then if you've got original paintings, same thing, have those original paintings up on your site where they can see how much they are. They can browse on their own without you standing over, you know, when you talk in person, it's almost like somebody when you're shopping and the, the, person working there standing over your shoulder watching you and it's like, dude, back off. So this gives a much more comfortable experience for both parties. They don't have to feel awkward saying, oh yeah, that's out of my price range. And you don't have to feel awkward like going through any of that. Just have the website with all of your prices written down. It makes things way easier.